Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your new love reading for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome or thank you. So Sagittarius, this is still the singles love reading. I just changed the title from singles to new love. This is intended for singles who may be wondering when they may meet somebody new, their next date, their next encounter, the next significant relationship, however that resonates for you. Um, if you do believe you have a connection with somebody but you're still single, I do have love readings on my channel where I take a look at a love connection between you and another person. So feel free to check those out. Uh, the May readings are up. Um, you can check the description box below for your uh, playlist and feel free to check those out. So this is intended for someone rising Venus, male or female watching. Um, take it out what resonates for you. If, it feel, if you feel like, you know, it's not really resonating for you, it's probably not for you. Um... And keep in mind, I could possibly pick on something like a past connection. I mean, that can happen, but it is my intentions are set for something new coming in. So like I said, take it how it resonates for you. So Sagittarius, let's see here. So I did change the format just a little bit. So you can let me know in the description box below how you like this format or if you have any um, ideas or comments or, you know, suggestions for uh, different questions to ask or whatever you know I'm open to anything so in the past love readings I did look at this person's energy um, where and how you may meet them time frame and what kind of connection it will be um, in this reading it's still kind of the same but a little bit different I'll still be looking at the person's energy then I'll be looking at how you'll be feeling about each other and the connection what challenges or blockages might come up in this connection and then uh, advice, guidance, possible outcomes. So we may see a time frame, maybe how you may meet them that may come up. So, and I'll go by the court cards as in the kings and queens as for signs. Otherwise, if I say every major arcana and every court card is just way too many signs. So, but they literally could be anybody, any signs. So I know um, everybody likes the uh, signs read so all right so Sagittarius singles new love sun moon rising Venus male or female for the general collective this is a general collective reading not a private reading so we're going to get this deck this person's energy so person's energy coming in for Sagittarius possibly for Sagittarius what is this person's energy like? Please, Spirit, thank you so much for Sagittarius. I'm going to pull one from each oracle. With this deck, energy they're kind of in right now. This deck will be like their soul, spirit, energy. And then this deck will be like their love energy, how they are in love, you know, how they feel. Think about love. And then we'll clarify further with the tarot. All right. So we got that one. And with this deck here, what is this person's soul energy, spirit energy, incoming new love, for Sagittarius, new person, significant for Sagittarius singles, looking for new love. What is this incoming person? What is their soul and spirit energy like? For Sagittarius, please. Thank you so much. That's way too many. I just want one for Sagittarius. And yes, we're taking that one. All right, and one of these to get their love energy for Sagittarius singles, new love. What is this person's love energy like for Sagittarius singles, sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female, for the collective? What is this person's love energy like for Sagittarius singles? That one. All right, Let's see what we have here. So we have helpless and hopeless. No, this is the eight of, I believe that's the eight of swords. So this person <laughs> may be kind of at a low point in their life. So let's see, this is the eight of swords. Usually talks about being stuck in your head, you know, that mental entrapment. Uh, can't get out of your own way, your own thoughts. Hmm, okay. So we have compassion, release judgment about yourself and others, and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So even though this person may be, I feel like they may either be at a low, I mean, this could be you or them. I mean, switch the energies if you feel like uh, that needs to happen at any time throughout the reading. But um, 
this person could actually be, it's like they're looking for their sunlight there. So they actually could kind of be at a low point in their life. But they're in this compassionate energy. So I'm seeing like, this looks like the sun and the moon. So I think this person had to learn how to release judgment, to feel, you know, compassion, to be in a more healing, nurturing, giving kind of energy. I feel like they may not have always been in that energy. They may have had to learn how to be in that energy. It may have taken them to get to a low point in their life to change, make changes within themselves. And now being, you know, or they're on that road to being in this more of a compassionate um, energy. Because you see the person's looking at the light, looking for the light. And it could be them now starting to realize that that light and love is within them, that they don't need others to have that love and light. All right, so let's see here. So we have have faith, trust your faith in this situation. 12 is three. So it's about teamwork, collaboration. So I do see the butterflies here for transformation. So I think this person, once they find somebody um, that they really have faith in, they really have to have faith and trust, I feel, in a situation for it to, for them to let it transform into like a commitment or a full on love or whatever here. They really have to have faith in a person and in the situation and trust before they can really um, commit or whatever here, if that makes sense, or really put in the effort to work on it. All right, so, or this could be you Sagittarius, but I am reading this as uh, new love coming into you. So let's see. Let's see. Let's get more about this person. Why are they in this energy? Why are they in this energy? Sagittarius, new love. Why are they in this energy? I feel like, you know, you know, with the transformation there and the butterflies, I feel like they want somebody too that um, will not challenge them, but um, will help them grow, expand, and that kind of energy also, as with the transformational energies with the butterflies. All right, so what do we have here? So we have the Page of Pentacles. So the Page is, is a young energy, youthful energy. It's a learning energy, um, stable, grounded energy. I think this person had to learn a lot on how to gain their own stability within themselves. And they may, like I said, have gone through a low point they could have already, or they're in a situation now, or they're just coming out of it. Eight, so we have another eight. Wow. So this is the eight of pentacles. So they really had to do a lot of uh, work on themselves and learn. They had to go through a lot of learning here. Pentacles, <laughs> so. All right, so what else here? Learning about themselves. Now the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, I can't make this up. Look at all the Pentacles here. So we go from the page to really working on themselves, now being the Nine, which is like the Emperor, the Empress energy, and the Minor of being like self-sufficient, stable, secure, grounded. So I feel like this person's gone through this process. They've done the work on themselves. They've healed. They found that, you know, they have that inner light and compassion and energy within them. They don't need to find it with others. So I feel like this person like set off on a journey here and they went right into the sun there. They've done the work, they've learned the lessons. Um, and now they're in this nine of pentacles energy, which is nice, stable, secure, grounded, independent. They know their value and their worth now. They've done their hard work within themselves and now there's I feel like they were from this energy now in this energy but yeah when it comes to love I feel like they still have to have faith and trust they have to have trust I feel to put their faith into a situation all right what else here the tower yeah 
they've been through a big epiphany, aha moment, uh, like Im implosion kind of within themselves. And they really went through a massive change here. Now the emperor, and I had just said emperor, empress. There you go. So this person went from the page all the way to the emperor or empress. Wow. So whatever they went through, whatever low point, could have been like dark night of the soul, a deep depression. I don't know, something low point in their life, whatever it was for them. They went from the page all the way to the emperor. Wow. So this person's been through it. Something that either ended or kind of came tumbling down or blew up or whatever in their life. But they're the emperor of the empress now. So that's good energy. All right. So now that we know that they've transformed and they did their inner work and they've healed. And now they're sitting as the emperor empress. Let's see. So this is like that person's uh, story of their life, basically. So, I mean, it could have been an ending of a long-term marriage commitment. It could have been something in the family, something here. But they really, really come out um, all the better for it. This is like a big lesson here that they went through with the tower. All right. So let's see how, oh my God, <laughs> you would feel. Well, we have the empress. So we have divine counterparts here. Yeah, wow. You are going to feel like this person is my perfect match. It's like you have the same energies here with the emperor and the empress. So let's see how, what else here. The five of swords. So you may, it, I'm getting like, uh, oh, what's that movie with uh, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie? Um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith kind of energy where it's like, um, there's love and attraction and it's passionate, but yet there's a lot of like one-upping one another kind of energy. And I'm not getting like bickering or fighting, fighting, but just like, I don't know. It's like you really challenge each other. And I'm not getting like in a bad way, but I don't know. Let's see. King of Pentacles, King or Queen of Pentacles. Wow. So this is uh, Virgo. So we have Virgo so far. So you get to see this person is very stable, grounded, mature, uh, trustable. You know, they could own their own business. They could be financially set now because they did all the hard work. It could have been that they lost a job, they lost a business, and they felt like they were really at a low point in their life. And they reworked their whole, because we have a lot of pentacles here. They reworked their whole life, and now they could be an entrepreneur, you know, again, and like revamp their whole life. It could be that also. For some, maybe even their business burnt down. I mean, we got the tower here, so, and they just rebuilt their whole lives. They thought all was lost, but I felt like they didn't give up. They put in the hard work. And you're going to see them as someone who's very stable, secure, grounded, financially set, practical. All right. A lot of value, worth, like the match. But I see a lot of one-upping one another. But kind of like in a fun kind of way. All right. So let's see here. Let's see how this person will feel about you. Four of Cups. So they may be a little unsure at first. Like, <laughs> what is this? It's like the female or male version of me. <laughs> so we could have divine counterparts here. All right. What else? Wow. The Wheel of Fortune. So that's your energy, energy Sag. So let's get one more. Let's get one more. In the sun. Wow. So I feel like you may be unsure at first, Sag, about this person. Actually, no, this this is you, Sag. Yeah, so this person, how they're going to feel about you. I'm sorry. So this person at first about you may be a little unsure. Like, you know, I'm looking like they may feel like I'm looking in the mirror at myself. Like, what is this? But then I think divine is going to step in here. And in the end, this is how they're going to feel with you. You know, two soulmates here dancing in the <laughs> sunlight. You know, they're going to see see that, okay, this person was divinely guided, brought into me. Um, this is fate, destiny. And we did have faith up here. So they may not trust you at first. I had said that. They may not trust you at first. So they may feel unsure. 
But then as time goes by, like with the Wheel of Fortune, they're going to realize, okay, I think I could trust this person. And then they'll put their, once they have the trust, they'll put their faith right into this, put the work, start to put the work in. And then we have two soulmates here dancing in the bas basking in the glory of the sun. Wow. That's the best card in the tarot. So, wow. All right. So let's see, though, what other challenges, blocks challenges blocks in this connection for you Sagittarius temperance so there you are coming out again all right so let's get all the energies first before I read each card individually for you the hierophant the king of swords so now that is um, Gemini so, so far we have um, Virgo and Gemini as for signs. And, oh, we got the King of Pents. Yeah, the King of Pents. So, Virgo and Gemini. So, a couple more. And the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. All right. This is blockages. So, let's see here. And the Four of Pentacles. So... I feel like there's potential here for commitment, long-term commitment, even marriage. But there may be a challenge here to balance out your energies because I think you're going to be so much alike and the energies will be so strong between the two of you. It's like it's like, like two counterparts that have like the equal energy. So it may be like a lot of, you know, push and pull. As you see here, like they're pushing and pulling each other. It's like you, you just, your energies are like the same. So it's like, I, I'm not getting like fighting. I mean, there could be bickering, but just uh, very strong, two strong-willed people. So there may be a challenge here to balance out those energies, to have patience with one another. Um, but, you know, this is about healing and patience and um, balancing out the energy. So that may be... Uh, a little bit of a challenge, maybe a little bit of a challenge to commit between the two of you, to see things clearly with the King of Swords. It's all about truth, clarity, you may not be honest with one another about how you truly feel. Um, but we do have a stable new beginning here. So somebody may be a little bit stubborn to uh, commit fully for like long term, because we do have the Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles is stable new beginning for the long term. Um, growth, abundance. And people may hold back here with the Four of Pentacles. So the obstacle will be to balance out the energies, to have truth and clarity within this connection, or being honest about how you truly feel. So there can be the potential here for this solid offer, because the offer is here and the offer is here. But yet this person isn't letting go of the offer and the other one isn't accepting it. But it is right here. So those are the kind of challenges and blockages I see. So people can be honest and clear and true and accept this for what this is balance out the energies temper the energies between the two of you have patience with one another this does have the potential to be a lifelong partner wow okay so let's see um what advice guidance possible outcome how you may meet this person uh let's see here maybe something over the summer in the park or something like that or maybe uh, at a bar or something like that or an alley I got like an alley or like going out for the night or something like that summertime into fall all right so let's see let's see let's see Let's see what the advice, guidance, possible outcome for this connection for you, Sagittarius. Single. So you showed up twice in your reading with temperance in the wheel. All right. So let's see what else. Advice or guidance. My card's upside down? No. We've got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So that's a lack of balance. Lack of balance. So let's see what else. What else? The Nine of Wands. So that's not to give up. Even though there may be a lot of imbalance in this connection, it's saying not to give up on it. 
not to give up because the temperance is like the major of the six of pentacles in a way all right so what else here the ace of swords so this is having honesty truth clarity victorious new beginning cutting away energy is not serving telling it like it is so to be honest sincere with one another um having always open honest truth and clarity cutting away energy is not serving not to give up even though you know times may feel very very out of whack in balance between the two of you maybe there's not always equal give and take but now we have justice here so and there goes the train so this is about getting justice serving justice truth clarity balance so we go from the six to actually the justice is like the uh, major of the six of pentacles so we go from the reverse minor to the upright major which is trump over trumps this six of pence in reverse so i feel like spirit says don't give up as long as you have truth clarity honesty between the two of you try to cut away energies not serving the two of you uh whatever that may be so that you can have the truth and clarity and balance that you need and give each other the just justice you deserve finally in a connection that i feel is like equal equal between the two of you it's like equal energy it's just learning how to tame that energy and balance it out i feel and if you can do that this could be something like a power couple here because we do have the divine counterparts with the emperor and the empress all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have the seven of cups yeah so there may be confusion about this connection not sure what to do needing to make uh, a judgment call final decision about this but this is a resurrection of soulmates so you could have had past lives with them um kind of energy also strengths a very strong bond connection between the two of you very strong um attachment um well i don't want to say attachment but um bond just infinity so yeah you could have had lifetimes with this person taming the beast willpower determination knowing when to hold back and you know when not to eight of one so fast action travel communication passionate messages <sighs> but i mean we do have the five of pentacles and the two of pentacles so there could be an energy here at times when you know it could ghost the other or whatever here because of the imbalance at times between the two of you uh, you know maybe ghosting a little bit or retreating a little bit from the connection but this is coming back to one another soulmates past lives um or maybe it could be someone returning from childhood but we do have past life soulmates here and we do have apologies we do have love offers we have loving communication here a very fiery passionate communication here with the page of wands and now we have the king of wands which can be um you sagittarius or another sagittarius so i mean i could go on and on so that's what i see so we could tame the energies tame the beast from within level out the energy see eye to eye make a final decision judgment call about this i do see like maybe a little bit of a i don't know maybe power struggle or stubbornness between the two of you but if you can even out and balance those energies between the two of you i do see like perfect soulmates here a power couple or something here between two oh sagittarius okay so sagittarius best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light